What's up, guys? This is your Twin Flame Energy reading for August 17th. And super positive vibes from this energy, but also a turn of events for the Divine Feminine. So the overall energy, we have love and acceptance, hope. Love is yours. Recognize your divine work. We have temperance. We have nine of cups. Um, basically, this overall energy is about finally... You're receiving the love that you deserve or the love is, is starting to flow into your life. As the feminine, those who embody the feminine energy, sometimes um, on this twin flame journey, it could feel lonely, kind of isolated, maybe even lonely. But the love is flowing to you. You're magnetic and things are starting to manifest. The issue is things are manifesting at the same time. So it's causing confusion, it's causing anxiety, it's causing, honestly, it's just really bad anxiety. It's causing because, you know, things are ending and things are beginning and multiple offers are coming through. Multiple people, multiple things manifesting at the same time and it's causing confusion. But the spirit is saying this is a blessing. This is a good problem to have. Have you ever heard of people, you know, complaining about things like, well, I'd love to have that problem. I don't know which offer to take. I'm not even getting no offers, you know? So it's like a good problem to have. So Spirit is saying, you know, it's you're blessed, Divine Feminine. Multiple offers is a good problem to have. No, Recognize your divine worth. Choose loving thoughts. Stay balanced and stay at peace so that you can be put in a position and make the right decision. Okay, um, let's talk about the first card. And I want to start with the Oracle. It is soul expansion. Your connection, your consciousness, I'm sorry, is expanding. You understand a connection between all things. Again, multiple, you're expanding. Your soul is expanding. Um, you're getting more recognition. You're getting more favor. Increased blessings. You're expanding. The issue again is... You know, multiple people recognize that. And so you're receiving multiple offers from it. I mean, you also understand that the worth in other people and the worth in all things. So it's hard for you to say no to one because you know that. And also, you know, there's there's love in it all. There's love and offer from one person. There's love and offer from another. It could be three people and it could be three offers or, or multiple or, you know, a combination of it coming in for you in regards to career, love and money. So it's all coming in. You see the value in it all. So it's causing some type of conflict. First card we have is the Ace of Wands. I, I really wish you could see this. Um, let's switch cameras. Okay, so I'm not going to switch cameras. But let's do it this way. First thing that happens is we have the Ace of Wands. <laughs> okay, so the Ace of Wands comes in and it's multiple opportunities coming your way. It's uh, from different angles. You have the world being offered to you in multiple different ways. Things that you have been waiting on, things that you're passionate about. But it's so many and from different people that it's causing, it's causing confusion. You have the Four of Cups clarified by the Moon. Well, both of these cards clarifying the Ace of Wands. It's like, you're, you, you know, these offers are coming in. They're offering you the world. They're offering you the world. And you don't know what to do. They're coming in because you've been balanced. They're coming in is because it's supposed to come in. You've been, you've been expecting to be blessed. You've been balancing your masculine and feminine energy, working on your passions, and you're expecting to be blessed. But the way that it happens, you don't expect... You, you don't see it coming how it happens. And it all comes in very quickly and at the same time. Um, the, that's why you, it leaves you feeling in this energy. It leaves you in the Nine of Swords energy of anxiety. Look at her coddling herself because she don't know what to do. You know, I mean, it's a good problem to have. But at the same time, recognize that it's a problem again because these are good offers. Again, it's offering you the world from multiple different people, multiple different means. So it could be in career, it could be finance, and in love. And it's, it takes you in different directions and you just don't know what to do because you see the worth in each and the value in each offer. So you're caught on it yourself. It's like, what to do, what to do, I don't know what to do. You could be an overthinker too. Um, but regardless, your life, 
your your life is changing and you know what when things happen at the same time give yourself a break um you're allowed to have a little anxiety you're allowed to you know express concern because think about it your life is changing you're entering a new phase of life um you have offers coming in in love you have offers coming in in career and finances these are good things but it can be overwhelming just think about your life changing in multiple areas at the same time it's over it's overwhelming for it could be overwhelming for any of us I don't like my business being shown anyway it could be overwhelming for any of us so um it leaves you in that energy, in that nine of swords energy and a ten of swords energy. Yeah, it's completing and you're entering new, and there's new beginnings and you're entering a new phase of life, but it hurts a little because you don't know what to do. Then you have the lovers and the high divine. Spirit is saying remain balanced, but also spirit is saying internal, internal balance brings external balance. So you also have love offers coming in serious love offers they want to take it to the next level they want you to be their person um you have masculines coming in and when i say masculines with the s i mean powerful men or you know powerful people powerful divine people coming into your life that wants to take it to the next level with you these are soulmates these are divine you know we always we say that there is one twin flame one divine partner um there's many avenues you can take. You can choose a soulmate instead. You can choose, it's, you know, it's not so much so, you still have free will. Let me just say that. So anyway, you have these multiple offers coming in and it's, it's really serious offers in love. In addition to a new phase of life in your career and finances, this is also a new phase in love. And it, it's taking your love to a new level. It's taking, you know, your romantic life into a new level. But in order to do so, you can't take them all. You can't have them all. So look at you. You're in the Five of Cups energy, coupled with the Nine of Swords energy, because you can't have all of them. Four moving in one requires you to leave behind another. You have this clarified by the Queen of Wands, the Chariot, the Six of Wands. Um... The Page of Swords and the Eight of Wands. I don't know. All these cards wanted to come out. So I took them. Page of Swords, Eight of Wands. They're all coming very quickly. They all want to work. They, they want to move fast. They want to move forward. It requires you to transition. It requires you to... Moving forward on, the, moving forward on any of these offers requires you to leave things behind. Leave the others behind. Leave a phase of life behind. Leave a location. You might even have to move across waters. You may have to relocate. Um, but, you know, you're, you're alluring to them. You're attractive to them. You are magnetic. And you've manifested this. Maybe you, you may have done it unintentionally. But you've manifested these offers. You've manifested multiple offers. You've manifested multiple career opportunities. You have multiple ideas that you've been working on or thinking about and contemplating on and bringing in and in the law of attraction. You have multiple people on your heart that you've been manifesting, thinking about, and, um, you know, using the law of attraction unintentionally, possibly, to bring it all forward. And it's all happening very quickly and at the same time. And they want to move very quickly as well. So, <laughs> good problem to have, but again, still a problem. Then we have the full card. Clarified by the Nine of Swords, the Three of Wands, the Page of Cups, and the Page of Pentacles. I guess I'll show you guys. Nine of Swords, Three of Wands, Page of Cups, Page of Pentacles. Again, love money new beginnings in love romance new beginnings in financials and careers um you you're you're trying to see which one aligns with your future the best but whatever decision you take is going to require faith it's going to require you to sacrifice one and it's going to require for you to have a little faith so um you're not going to get around faith um, because 
You don't see the future clear. You, you can't predict it clearly with each option. You're like, if I take this option, then I have to let go of this, and this provides this value, but this option adds this value. So which one aligns with my, which one is conducive to my future? So you're just not very sure about which one to take. You're not very sure about which avenue to take, and whatever choice you take, know that it's going to require for you to have faith regardless. So I wouldn't even beat myself over, over it because they're probably all good offers. And it will probably all reap good rewards. So you just have to have faith and go within and figure out which one um, is conducive to your future the most. Or which one that you can't live without. And then we have the Hermit clarified by the Five of Cups. This energy I'm getting... You can't choose one, so you choose none. <sighs> and then we have the Five of Wands and the Magician. You can't choose one, so you choose none, because it's all manifesting at the same time, and it's causing you conflict. So instead of dealing with this, you choose none. You choose, you, you're looking at them like, you see how it was, I, I said earlier it was like three, or possibly three people or three offers. And then you see how he's looking at the three cups that fell. But that's clarifying the, the hermit. You choose none. You choose to be alone because you can't deal with the conflict of everything manifesting at the same time. Or you choose none of them because... It's just you, you don't want to deal with the conflict of everything manifesting at the same time and you making the decision to carry on one or move forward with one, leaving behind the other. That is very interesting. That, oh, uh, I understand though. I really do understand. Sometimes you have to just choose you and remove yourself from the situation until you find that clarity to make the right decision in your life because it affects your life. It affects the life of your loved ones. It affects the lives of the people you leave behind and the people you move forward with. This could be in career. This can be in relationships. This can be either or. The decision that you make, it has a cause and effect. So it's good to make a decision when you're balanced. You know, the temperance. It's best to be, to be balanced. It's best to make a decision out of love and knowing that whatever happens is for your good. Knowing that whatever happens is um, aligning you towards your future anyway. But also, just put yourself in a position to have clarity of thought and clarity of mind so that whatever decision you make, you don't regret. You don't regret it. You know, there are no regrets. If you choose one and you, that doesn't mean you don't see the value in the others, it's just... Maybe that's the best for you and your family at that moment and the person or things that you choose to move forward with. Interesting reading, interesting turn events for the Divine Feminine because usually the Divine Feminine in the beginning of the Twin Flame journey is the chaser. The Divine Feminine sees the future and wants to manifest the future with a particular person. The other person don't see it. Now, in a fortunate turn of events for the Feminine, he or she is the one in pursuit that's being in pursuit. And not just by one person, by multiple people. And that's how it manifests because unintentionally maybe the feminine manifested that. You know, throughout my journey of life, you know, there is, it isn't just one person that I've loved. There's one person, heavy in particular, that I figured was my divine partner. And, and there was another one as well, a soulmate connection that has the potential to surprise me. So, you know, sometimes when you're an empath or when you embody the feminine energy, you have these multiple things on your mind, these multiple ideas, these projects, these businesses. You have it all on your mind, including multiple people to partner with in life and in business too. And perhaps those thoughts that you put out there in the universe, um, just from being you, just from your heart, it manifests everything at the same time. So you have to choose which one is better for you. You have to figure out what's better for you. Well, Feminine, I'll leave you there. I'll leave you to your thoughts. If you resonate with this reading, you certainly 
um, should be at peace and relax, knowing that even if it's a drought right now, if things are not manifesting for you right now, if you don't see what's happening right now, if people aren't coming in right now, if you have no offers, know that they aren't going to come in at the same time. You know how when you put in job applications and nobody calls you, but as soon as you get one, here's another call? That just happens to someone I know. Or when you're you're not in a relationship and you're single, your phone is dry. But as soon as you get into a relationship or you start dating someone, here comes everybody else. For some reason, that's how it works. That's how the law of attraction works. When one come in, they, they flow in. And you just have to be one with yourself, knowing, see your divine worth, love yourself, be at peace, and choose you. If, if you have to say no to everything else to choose you, choose you first. And then figure out what fits in the picture next. This reading was brought to you by my book, The Personification of Beauty, um, and my book, The Power of I Am. I am the creator and the creator is in me. Search my name, Ashley Gilliard, G-U-I-L-L-A-R-D, and Amazon, it will take you there. Please like, subscribe, and comment so that I can continue to bring this content forward. Spirit had me, you know, I was talking to Spirit about my YouTube channel. I did a reading and Spirit told me to start doing, you know, advise me, not told. Advise me to do masculine and feminine twin flame readings. And um, that's what I'm going to do for a while. So if you like this, like, subscribe, comment, and let me know. Thank you for your um, time. Peace.